first semi-final. Let's watch him top of the board. Oh, on the wire. Yes! yes what a shot. Tremendous stuff. His support has gone mad. So Peter Chapman wins the first leg, and now Jim McQuillan. Jim McQuillan from the Vinein Dundalk with everything to do. 43-year-old brewery driver, never got a look at in that first leg. Not a sniff of it. So Jim really must get straight on the tongue trail this time. And he must have heard me, because Wallop straight into the 60. That's 80 scored so far. 140. It's catching fire. Now Chapman, that's a one. 21. 41! 41. So Jim McQuinnan, as you can see, that marvellous 140 straight away in the second leg to establish some authority. He needs this one to draw level. Looks like 25. 45! 45 scored. So Peter Chapman, third time lucky for him. It was Peter's third appearance in his divisional final. Uh, and this was the only time he's actually made the grand finals here at Alec Pally, and he's got two treble twenties. Can he get the third one? No! Very unlucky with 140. Tremendous stuff, and just look at this crowd. Really, this is a unique event in British sport. There is nothing to match Ali Pally on News of the World final days. And really, these two are beginning to pick out the big scores. That's 20 for Jim McQuillan. 26! So, as you can see, nothing in the scores at all. Chapman really came rocketing down with that 140 last time. Here he goes again. That's 20. 40. Can he get the treble in the middle? 60! No. Can he get 60? That's steady enough. So, now McQuillan. McQuillan could do with a three-figure score. He's got a five. He's got 65. 85! 85! So this one really is neck and neck. Chapman now, as you can see, some 60-odd behind. Oh, that one hit the wire and bounced halfway back to his hockey. That's 20. 21! 21. Groans from the London fans of Peter Chapman from the bird in hand, Henley on Thames. McQuillan now, then. McQuillan with chances. 40 scored. 6-0. So now McQuillan in a slight lead here, but Chapman really can pull out the big ones when he needs to. Just underneath the treble 20. Just above it. Can he get one in the middle? 60. 60. So 145 now for Jim McQuillan. Three, six, three six, uh, 20s for 60. That's it. No, it isn't. It's next door. That is, my goodness me, it's very close on the wire there. He's got 63 score. Well, these boys really are mathematical geniuses. He came down there like a ton of bricks, and now Chapman finds himself in trouble. 40 scored. 60. Jim, you 68. 68 now, then, for Jim McQuillan. It's out of 12. It is 56. 28. 28 scored. So McQuillan had a chance for a double there, but 119 now for Peter Chapman to finish. He went for the 19, he missed it, he got a 7, 112. That one was right on the wire, but it's a 1. 27! 27 scored, and now McQuillan needs double top to level them up. Just underneath, two tens over there at 4 o'clock. Yeah. Oh, no, tremendous finishing power. McQuillan levels it up. So there we see them tossing for this now, third and decisive Paul leg Paul in this first semi-final. This is Jim McQuillan from Air. He really got into the groove in that last horse. And he's straight away there with 19, 39 scores. So Peter Chapman with tremendous support here at Ali Pally from London and the home counties. The bird in hand, Henley, one of the best players in the London region, has really got to find his form. That's only two, but he did get out of trouble well. 2-1 to his first two darts, banging the treble 20 with his third, that's healthy.
McQuillan then. A five. 25. 26! 26. You don't like that one. This is trap. 20. 40. 100! Good darts. Just listen to that cry. You can cut the atmosphere here at Ali Pali with a carving knife. McQuillan coming back strongly though. 62! 62 score. So there you can see the scores now. Chapman has edged in front by some 40 odd. These will all count though. Remember they must finish on a double. You must subtract their scores. Take 40 60. off. Take 60 off for Peter Chapman from the London and home counties area. McQuillan then. Bang, treble 20. 95! 95 scored. So still, it's a real ding-dong, this one. It's going back and forth like an electronic ping-pong ball. This is Chapman, 20 scored, 40 scored. Can he hit the magic treble? 100. Yes, he can. Tremendous stuff. Remember, this is a decisive leg. Jim McQuillan with the Alexandra Palace beginning to bubble over with excitement. 45. 45. 179 going then for Peter Chapman. That's 20 off. It's just next door in the five, is it? No, it's in the 20. 60! 60 score, so he wants 119. Then McQuillan really badly needs a three-figure score here to get back on terms. Peter Chapman, a brewery driver from the Vine in Dundalk, looking desperately around 60. for that treble, couldn't find it. So now 119 for Peter Chapman. 119, 57, 32, 16s perhaps you'll go for. He went for the 57. He's missed it, has he? Yes, it's a 19. He's gone up for the treble 20. He's missed that. He's got a five. He worked today. He went downstairs again, but missed the treble there. So this is let again. McQuillan back in with chances. That's unlucky for a treble 20. That is a treble 20. 83. 83 scored. So now Chapman needs 92, 60, 216 to this shot. Treble 20, 216s. To get a place in the final, he's got a one. Terrible disillusionment. The groan almost goes through you. That is double top he wants. 32. 32. Rather, he wanted a double top to leave himself a double anyway. There we go. Really, the excitement here is even getting the commentator. So now Chapman needs, needs 60. 60. He needs 20 double top. That's a 20 double top now. Just over the top. Third dart, last one. Yes! Yay! Tremendous. After the conclusion of his earlier throw, he made no mistake, and it's Peter Chapman from London and the home counties who goes into the 1974 News of the World Darts final round.